And well, what the <laughs> fuck number episode is this? And welcome to whatever uh, episode 12. of Great Scott Marcus this is. Is it episode 12? It is episode 12. 12. 12. Well, we're going to be saying that a lot in this episode. <laughs> For those who don't know us, which is most people ever, uh, Mark and I have a thing about the number 12. It started way back when uh, in college, and it's just kind of become the manliest number you can say in our minds. <laughs> and so that's why we say it with such manly emphasis, 12. Yeah. So, yeah, welcome to episode 12. Mark, 12. how are you doing today? Not bad. Um, it's been an okay day. Try to be productive. I went disc golfing this morning, which is why I opted for a evening uh, recording as opposed to an afternoon recording. I wanted to get out and do something physical before it rained and... And watch baseball, and now I'm here. Hey, smoothies and drinks all around. A Wendy's strawberry yeah. sweet tea. Uh, I, I also this prefer is... the. Oh, I'm sorry. No, so I'm drinking. Uh, was it kale? Of course, because I'm a hipster. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's a uh, kale, banana, strawberry, blueberry, blackberry, and almond milk. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to end the show now, and we will never be back because this friendship is over. I fear that might happen. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the 12th episode of Great Scott Marcus. I'm Scott, and that's Mark. And, yeah, I also prefer the later evening recordings. Mm. Eat, you know, just kind of do whatever it was during the day. It might, you know, get yeah. you riled for a talk. <clears throat> Maybe not. Who knows? But... A few things to cover before we actually get into facial hair. Got, got it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Right. Hold on. Um, it's it's going to be like right here. Oh, oh, oh. There we it. go. And there we go. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be changing the format, at least for a bit, of how great Scott Marcus episodes are recorded and posted. Because... Basically, in solving a good number of audio issues, I have created a new audio issue, which is not shocking in the slightest. <laughs> not at all. And it's basically uh, in recording separate audio tracks and modifying those audio tracks, the audio becomes out of sync with the video. This likely has to do with frames per second. The uh, audio is recorded at so many technically sound frames per second mm -hmm. and then the video is recorded at what is likely 30 frames per second and then the audio ends up outpacing the video by the end of uh the compilation once everything is together I'd, and i kind of like to see that to see it slowly just go into chaos and butt fuckery it, it's <laughs> uh, it, it really gives you a headache and people would immediately click stop oh but yeah I, I, can, I can send you a private video sometime uh, yeah i'm, I'm trying to see send what it like you a private <laughs> video sometime <Hey. laughs> stop drinking uh, that 12 <laughs> anyway um so yeah the easiest way around that is to kind of almost submit to more of the youtube format where we reduce the time on the videos m closer to a 20 minute <laughs> video. So we'll we'll shoot for about 20 30 minutes per video will be mm -hmm. the expectation hopefully. And uh yeah, we'll go from there. So why don't we go ahead and get right into it and uh, honestly uh, as it's sitting there I can't help but think to myself that I need to start treating again. Um, I, I actually, uh, I'll openly admit, I have <clears> used <throat> Rogaine and continue to use it. I need to get back to treating regularly. I have uh, some thinning up here and back here. And I also treated my face. I treated uh, my, my face, and I, I'm actually a lot thicker right in here than I used really? to be. Uh, it, it's, it's not very grown. If I, if I gave yeah. it another week, it would be a lot more like this. And... Mm -hmm. If I continue to treat it in here, I could probably eventually actually have a full beard. I would have never been able to grow a full, full beard. And because I of... can't either, so... <laughs> because of mindoxacil, I believe is the proper pronunciation for the chemical. Ooh, uh, I get I get the Amazon off-brand and whatnot. And uh, because of that, I'm actually uh, having more facial hair than I used to. And I like that because mm -hmm. uh, I, I like the variety, you know? Like, if next winter rolls around and I actually want a beard, I might be able to have it. It would be nice to have that option. I agree. Um, 
I can't grow a full beard either, so I I always I, feel your pain, I always brother. thought you had a lot more. How come you, you know? Can't? It's it's my facial hair patterns. It's it's like the ultimate white trash. You know, <laughs> you've seen Joe Dirt, where it's like it's real thick right around to like the sideburns to my jawline, and then again here and here, and but then it drops this off area, like right it's here, just patchy. You know, and so and what sucks about it is like. You would have you, you would have really made close, great trailer trash, by the way. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Um, if you look really close at it, part some of the hairs are really dark and almost black. Others are blonde. Others are red. It's like I get that my too. pigmentation has no idea what the fuck it's trying to do. And I think that kind of hurts my beard development process because <laughs> it's like you know the the blondes and reds are kind of light and it's like fleshy beard, and then you know the blacks obviously stand out and that just makes it look patchy as shit. But um, I feel like if I could grow a beard, I would, but I wouldn't be the kind of guy that grows a giant no, never. unraveled beard. I, I, I can't grow full, even <clears throat> tamed. I, I don't want to. Right. I, I want that like I just want like look... solid, good, full scruff. Yeah, oh. I, I like I want that look that it's like oh five o'clock shadow, but it's mm. not a five o'clock shadow. This took me weeks. <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly. I pretty much sport that all the time now. Like it, it, I've don't remember the last time I ever clean shaved everything off my face. It's been probably 10 years. You know, I had some friends of my, we were talking about this on the phone. I had some friends of my parents, uh, you know, just friends of the family uh, mm-hmm. come into town. It was nice to see them. It's been too long, but it was uh, very uh, polarizing to uh, kind of hear their conversation and mm-hmm sit in on it and just kind of be there because they're uh, m- most of them are much older and they were talking I-, I was talking to you about this how like they were talking about teachers with tattoos and i was like yeah tattoos are a bad thing and i was like oh yeah that's <laughs> right they actually you know used to and kind of still might be considered bad but y- people like us don't really have that stigma right. we have completely lost it especially mm-hmm. you having tattoos mm-hmm. and you know, I see people in the gym with tattoos, and I'm just like, cool tats. I, and I don't think more of it than that. Right, and exactly. I, and especially not being in the work environment still, I I especially lose that because it's just like I, I forget that, you know, you have to cover that up if you're at work. Which professional is, image. Which, and... is, which is still even kind of silly. But then <laughs> also – Facial hair it, it mm-hmm. is uh, still so stigmatized, uh, and, is it? And, which is, I mean that that's another thing they were talking about. You know, like these really? guys with these full grown beards. It's just like, what are you, a hillbilly? And it's just like, <laughs> it, it's a thing that we grew up around. That it's just like, oh, you should be clean shaven because that's professional. Right. And it's just like, why? <laughs> why yeah, well, is I mean... that professional? I feel like there's a line, though. You know, it's like you can have a – if a guy has a full, like, well-groomed beard, like, it can still look very professional oh, yeah. and very uh, uh, masculine. And it and, is. And, 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 yeah, if we're being fair, don't look like a homeless person like I yeah. do today. But <laughs> – No, yeah, I mean, there's there's plenty of people out there that they just let it go. And I had a buddy of mine uh, back home. I was more of an acquaintance. You know, if I saw him, I'd be like, hey, dude, what's going on? You know, I have a beer with him, but, you know, I don't have his number. But, uh, you know, his beard's actually it was like down to pa- almost his stomach. He's growing up for like four years. But even still, it wasn't like all over the place and wiry. Like he, you know, brushed maintained it, it. And, so it brushed it, tamed you it, know, waxed it, whatever. And, you know, it turned out, you know, it looked all right. He actually just recently shaved down. And it was kind of funny because when he did that, I was like, my God, like he's not a bad looking guy. And that's kind of like a bring up a big point here uh, that I've had in my mind for just probably over a year now. Um, women that exclusively date men with giant beards is weird, and it is a thing. <laughs> I I on I, I honestly find any of this like I am just really into Asians. I you know only like black dudes. Mm-hmm. I uh, you know like I'm into guys well, yeah. with giant muscles. Everyone has preferences. Like, I get I, I get preferences, but mm-hmm. if you are so limited to say. Only, you know, like, mm-hmm. or, you know, like, that. that's just what I'm attracted to. It's like, right. really? There are no other qualifiers? <laughs> just beards. Yeah. Like, what's, what's, what's weird to me, though, is, is like... 
Oh, he's homeless, I mean, I'm, but it, he's, he's just he's, so he's attractive. Like exactly. Like, I, I like that rugged, uh, just rolled out of the uh, fourth street sewer. Alley. <laughs> sewer. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, like I, what I don't understand is, and I brought this up to a number of people about this, uh, a few mutual through mutual friends, or whatever is. What if you start dating a guy and they got like this big ass beard and like what if they happen to shave that beard and like my god, he's hideous. Acne, <laughs> like, acne for days. Just, or just like, like, like absolutely like, no chin, just like weird, like just lack of jawline, no chin, just like a giant baby face, and just like that would be well, awkward as hell. Like I, sure, okay, yeah, you like personalities, blah blah blah, but uh, <laughs> blah 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 blah. Fuck like, personality. <laughs> Exactly. Wow, Mark. <laughs> but no, it, personality it, it, is nothing. Just submit <laughs> to American culture. Everything is about looks. All of it. Just it's like like hiding something the entire time. <laughs> just like um, like I'm hiding something terrible in my beard. And... I f- I feel like a lot of this comes down to one: how far into a relationship you are. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, if it's that like that first month window, and suddenly you find them unattractive. That is either something you have to, unfortunately, uh, for you and them, bail on, which is no. harsh, or talk about. Um, Jen actually, you know, <laughs> brings this up kind of jokingly, but at the same time, you know, like, kind of in that serious way, as some people do in relationships, where it's just like, mm-hmm. what if I shaved my head? I'd just be like, well, I would seriously con- reconsider, <laughs> like... <laughs> Uh, it, it's one of those things that's like you talk about it because it's yeah. just like there is a status quo between, you know, like me and her and people in relationships. And it's just like mm-hmm. you don't just make radical changes when you are in especially a committed relationship. You know, right. it's like I am now a woman. <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay, Bruce. That, or, <coughs> excuse me, Caitlin. That's, I mean, like they obviously talked about that. I, right don't care about him i don't care about you know what goes on in that but they obviously talked about that um probably very difficult a very difficult thing that they went through Mm um you know like these things just don't happen like with my chin hair i actually don't have a very powerful chin i mean you can you can just kind of tell but the facial (laughs) hair the facial hair actually makes it it look a lot better it makes me look older so like this is something I'm aware of in my head, and I shouldn't just shave this off one mm-hmm. day and then get on camera with Jen and be like, hey, babe. And she'll be like, who's this 12-year-old? <laughs> what the fuck happened to your face? Yeah. So it's like uh, – Yeah, I, I mean, like similar situation. Like, I, I feel like my, my scruff like just helps define my jawline. It's just like if I get rid of it one day, it's like, Jesus, I'm going to be – 12 years old again. Nobody it does. Like yeah, like, uh, a mm-hmm. lot of uh, gentlemen these days do rely on their facial hair to mm-hmm. accent their face. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, the same thing kind of with, like, Chris Turk from Scrubs. He shaved his mustache off, and suddenly there's this <laughs> giant mole right <laughs> under his, his uh, nose hole, and it's just like, that looks like a boogie. So... <laughs> you got a little guacamole. Yeah. <laughs> Little so, awesome powers reference. Yes. And, yeah, um, mole, 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 mole. mole. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, th- uh, that's about all I really have on that. Yeah, not a whole lot on there. Just, uh, it's just no, I, I, I get it. Thing yeah. is I, I, I think it was like last week I was on my like 12th day and I was like, man, I'm looking shitty. And then, yeah, I, mean, I, should, I trim it off about once a week and, well, here we are. So, you wanted this to be <laughs> midday drivers. I just changed it to driving because I hate for sitting in for three years and most mm-hmm. of those first two years I wasn't going anywhere just a sporadic doctor appointment here and there. It was really confounding as I started to drive here and there and you know, like, go from driving very regularly Mm -hmm. in college to not driving at all and then coming out and drive here, drive there, and it's just like, what the fuck? And now having a new car, like, the concern for this (laughs) crap is just... And and this will even be in the next topic, too, so I don't want to get too deep into it. Yeah, But, like... 
So many bad habits have been formed by highway driving, these highway mm-hmm. practices, these rush hour practices. You should be within three micrometers of the person in front of you's bumper. Otherwise, you're just a terrible rush hour driver. And, yep. well, like, I, there are no <laughs> other words. It's just frustration. <laughs> like, I so I I got a new car. I'm not incredibly proud of it because I haven't done anything with my life. We were talking about this on the phone, Uh, but no, I haven't said this on camera yet. And uh, so you know, like having this, it it isn't like man, I really accomplished something, so I deserve this. It's kind of like I don't fucking deserve this. Mm -hmm. And but it happened, and. I understand why, and I'm not going to go into the details here that, you know, like a lot of uh, this is personal, but I was driving the car and enjoying driving the car. I enjoy it. I'm not going to, you know, uh, be an ass and be like, well, you know, it's a really nice car, but I hate it. Right. Uh, And pull up to a stop sign, and it's right about rush hour, and felt, felt like a little bit of a harder stop than typical and i look in my rear view mirror and this guy might as well be sitting in my back seat and i was just like and i start to pull off from the stop sign it was my turn and i was mm-hmm. just like fuck did that guy tap me and i i was thinking about that the whole way home this guy really? was in a truck so it's not like you know he he it's like a, you know one of those tiny cars where it's just like yes it looks like he should be hanging on to my spoiler no yeah. like it, it, it like i seriously was like when did you get in? And did you like in jump a, like at least a little bit when you saw him get like super close? Like what the fuck? No, guy? no at this point he was already stopped and he he mm-hmm. even kind of looked like a bit shady. He was kind of looking around, kind of nervously. And facial no. hair? <laughs> uh, and <laughs> you know I pull off and I'm thinking about this the whole way home. Luckily, if he had hit me, there was no no mark from it. But right. uh, it, there were no marks. So good but it's just like another one of those moments where it's just like everyone around me is a terrible driver and yes at times i suck too I, i'm not going to deny that i have uh, unfortunately switched lanes when i shouldn't have and oh, yeah. you know made we'll make made bad driving practices but 100 percent of the time i am not riding someone's ass i'm not within three micrometers of their goddamn bumper i'm i'm typically <laughs> two to three car lengths away from the person in front of me i go the speed limit i go five miles over the speed limit well, I you're a speed limit guy huh? I, I typically don't break that sometimes i will do eight miles depend eight miles over depending on <laughs> like the the how fast we're going like if we're yeah. in a 55 Eight miles over, I feel like, is as acceptable as five within, like, a 35. Sure. Um, man, I hate driving. <laughs> man, I hate driving. Well, I'm the, uh, I'm that asshole that goes, like, 10 to 15 over in certain situations. I get, um, I get that people yeah. speed. But, oh, yeah. like, like, so here, and, and this is funny because I feel like I've taken over your ramble. But it's like, fine. I mean, I, I know exactly what I'm going to talk about, so yeah, I haven't lost track of my thoughts yet, so you're fine. <laughs> but fucking, like, if I'm going five miles over the speed limit, or even mm-hmm. more than that uh, within the speed limit, and <clears throat> someone's riding my ass, what the fuck? <laughs> well. Like I get it if they're like five miles under, ten miles under, right? Uh, if they're if, if you even want to go that extra five, and you're kind of like trying to give them that social cue, as we once talked about, you know, like that somebody's on your ass. Oh, I'm not going the speed limit, right? Uh, yeah, you know, but your turn. <laughs> don't don't oh. fuck this up. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to. Uh, no, I'm I'm. A very efficient driver, we'll say that. You know, I like to get from point A to point B in a very decent amount of time. I don't want to dick around. I don't like going on the speed limit. In fact, I'm almost always speeding. Uh, And, you know, I'm careful, though. You know, if I'm going down a 25-mile-an-hour road, like, residential neighborhood, I'm probably going to go, like, 25, 30. If I'm driving to work on what road is it? I mean, it's, it's not a highway, but it's five lanes wide so i mean it's it's pretty busy you know it's 45 i 
been going 60 on it. Like, it's not all that dissimilar. And, and for the record, my driving record is pretty fucking clean. Like, I've gotten one speeding ticket in the 12 years I've been driving. Not bad. <laughs> so it's like, I'm careful. I'm aware. But uh, what brought this up was a couple days ago, sometime last week, I believe, I went home for my lunch break. And I've yeah. only got 45 minutes of my lunch break. Let's be real. I milk it to an hour a lot. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, okay, not a lot. Like, I usually I'll do it in, like, like, 50 minutes, maybe 55. Like, I don't like to do it too much because, you know, someone else is relying on me. And uh, on my way home, like, I was flying, like, not like, like, just, I caught all green lights. You know, there was no one on the road. Like, it was just driving bliss. And then on my way back, I caught every red light. And every person I was following was probably going the speed limit or within like five over. And I'm just like, God damn it. I'm always You're going like 10 over. And, oh, I'm that guy. I'm that guy. Uh, but I, mean, I, don't, I don't get up on these guys. I don't like honk my horn. I don't like get on their ass because they could break check me. And so I just let my frustrations out by listening to really angry music and just destroying my vocal cords in my car <laughs> i i um, can i cannot believe the people who are persistent through break not only brake checks mm-hmm. but i i have even actually run into the person who has flashed their brights in my mirrors like i don't do any of that like sorry drinking all my road rage is pretty much self-contained <laughs> You know, I I, 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 I used to be my own I, car, but that's as far as it goes. I used to be the brake check person um, right. until I ran into two idiots. I I I brake checked this person three times, mm-hmm. and they did not get it. Like <laughs> like they they'd be like, ah! you know, like you could see mm-hmm. them in the mirror, and, you know, and then they're right back to it. So like you know this this is about a, a five mile stretch of road. Did mm-hmm. this three times, and like at the end of it, he's like honking his horn, flicking me off as I'm turning off, and I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> and and give him a thumbs up as he goes by. <laughs> and finally, uh, where I stopped was uh, this woman who I break checked twice, mm-hmm. and you know you you. You always see it where they're just like, <gasps> you know, and they're holding on yeah. to the wheel. And it's like, oh, no, I'm stupid. And yet I keep doing this. Mm-hmm. And then uh, and if I'm being honest, you know, I, I was uh, my dad has a nice car. And sometimes, you know, like when he hasn't taken it to work, I take it out. So when I was in that I was being safer. You know, I wasn't like, uh, okay, they're right up against my bumper. Now, fucking right. hit it. You know, like, uh, so, you know, like, I, I could tell when she was starting to creep up on me. So I was just like, okay, and ease into it. And <laughs> finally, the third time, uh, I stop, and she stops, and then keeps going. Yeah. And, and oh, you start sweating yeah. a little bit at that point, like, ah, no, she hit here. me. Oh, no, yeah. Shit. And <clears throat> then I was like, oh, because then you got the fucking headache of dealing with accident reports. Oh, no, oh, blah, blah, blah. wait, 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 wait. I pull off into this driveway and she keeps going. Oh no! And well, you didn't have to deal with a headache then. <laughs> oh, it was a it was a headache because the, again. Not my car, and Ooh. yeah, yeah, and so I mean, like I'm I'm insured through it, and you know, like so I I wouldn't drive right. a car I'm not insured through. Like, don't I'm I'm try I try to be the smarter driver drive out the- there, <laughs> um, but you know, like I'm sweating bullets. Like I, you know, I called the cops. I'm like I'm, you know, like I'm trying to follow this woman. You know, like this is the car she's in. Uh, nothing ever came of that, but because uh, eventually I couldn't keep up and mm-hmm. uh because I, it was in traffic and you know i pulled off and she just kept going and uh i didn't realize she did it ha- happily i i got to my chiropractor's appointment at that time and i i was just i, I was nervous as hell i thought you know like the bumper might be hanging off mm-hmm. happily only a small crack uh in in um 
one of the accents <clears throat> on the bumper itself, and so I was just like, ah, oh, that that's still a decent me. bump. I mean, bumpers are made for that reason, you know, to absorb impact. Absorb impact. I, I mean, it sounded was, it sounded it sounded like she snapped the damn thing in half. Jesus, and but that taught me the lesson not to brake check. But now it's just like, so I'm not brake checking anymore. So these people just. I have started pulling off, uh, you know, mm-hmm. like if someone is riding me long enough and hard enough, I'll just pull off and then yeah. they get, and then they get a real evil eye. But <laughs> I th- mean, th- that's all I got. As long, <laughs> like, you know, if you're able to ever get over that's, that's all I ask of people. You know, if I think that's, that's one of my big, huge, uh, but, but that is, thing. that is absolutely unacceptable. If you, if the person you are riding is going mm-hmm. speed limit and over by five or even more like mm-hmm. that. Here's my, my biggest beef. Like if, if that's happening, let's say like highway driving, especially cause I'm, I'm driving all the time between here and Toledo, you know? And, um, it's like, I, it's happened more than once where you have two people in both lanes driving about the same speed limit or speed miles per hour, whatever you want to say, drive the same speed. And, Okay, if it's fifty five and they're going, you know, sixty, they're still both doing it, and that's oh man, so fucking annoying. You, you mean you mean <laughs> taking up the lanes? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that would actually be a good end to the first half of the ramble. So I guess I'll stop the recording here, and we'll get Mark back. <laughs>